dear brothers and sisters in Christ, my hearty greetings to all in the beloved name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, the text we have chosen for our meditation, the Gospel book of Matthew, verse chapter 22nd, verse 39. Our Lord Jesus said, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. You shall love your neighbor as yourself, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. How many of you, the follower of our Lord Jesus Christ, keeping this commandment, fulfilling this commandment of our beloved Lord? Our Lord is kind. Too much of affection on us. Too much sacrifice he has done for us. My brothers and sisters in Christ, today I ask you, how many of you are fulfilling this commandment of our Lord? In those years, so many missionaries from other countries came to India and spread all over the world and they presented and executing this commandment of our Lord. Especially in India, so many missionaries came to India by ship, traveling so many months even though they were belonging to a very rich family in other countries, highly educated, they sacrificed their life to our Lord Jesus Christ. And they came to India and they went each and every village of our nation and they established schools. They distributed food for the starving people. They distributed free clothes and also they have started small clinics and hospitals especially for the pregnant ladies who were dying at the time of their first pregnancy about 60 percent they started for them and saved their life these missionaries keeping the commandment of our loving God, they came to India and they started their service in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ for the poor and needy. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, even now we can see a lot of hospitals, a lot of schools started by the Christian missionaries. Especially we can see this Christian Medical College and Hospital at Vellu. Idaskar started for the ladies, pregnant ladies who are dying at the time of their delivery. Dr. Ida Skadar's father, John Skadar, started the hospital at Ranipet near Vellu. How much service? They have performed for our Lord, for His kind commandment. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today I ask you, how many of you keeping this commandment, fulfilling this commandment for our Lord? Just think a minute, how many services you have rendered for the people according to our Lord's commandment. We are followers of Jesus Christ. We have to live like Jesus Christ in our deeds, deeds and activities, showing kindness to other human beings. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, again, I ask you, how many of you are doing this kind of kind services to the other human beings? 
our Lord has commanded and reminding again that you shall love your neighbors as yourselves. You are loving yourself so much, 24 hours, you are loving yourselves. But how many hours you are loving and helping your neighbors or other human beings? My dear brothers and sisters, our Lord gave his life for others. He sacrificed his life for others' life. So, how many of us are willing to dedicate our life to our Lord Jesus Christ? How many of you? All these years, from the womb of your mother, He has blessed you, He has guided you, He has protected you, He provided what are all your needs? He blessed you. He blessed your family. He blessed your wife. He blessed your children. He blessed your parents. He blessed your husband. He blessed everybody. He provided what are all you desired in your mind. He provided you all these years. He made you happy. Now, He is the reason for your joy in your life, your health, your wealth, your family, your children, your job, everything from Him. But are you loving our Lord Jesus Christ? You have received so much blessings from Him. Are you loving Him? Are you executing his commandments of love to love and help others? Dear sisters and brothers, now I request you, unless otherwise, if you keep his commandments and execute his commandments, you will not get further blessings from him. Dear brothers and sisters, three weeks back, my son, who is a doctor in New York, Manhattan, he is the assistant director of the uh, Bellevue Hospital, Dr. Joshua Jaya Singh. He called me and uh, asked me, Appa, may I come to India to see you all and come back? I told him, Joshua, our Lord gave his life for others. He sacrificed his life on the cross of Calvary. He died for others. He saved others' life. He died. Lord Jesus Christ died and he saved others' life. We as the followers of Lord Jesus Christ, we have to keep his commandment. We have to love others as ourselves. So many people are dying because of the virus in New York City. And you are a doctor there. You have to help them. You have to redeem them from the death. By that way, you will fulfill the commandment of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, our Lord says through the Bible, even thousand people died, even sixteen thousand people died on your right hand, but this thing will not come to you. The death will not come to you. He has promised like that. Jesus has promised that. Even thousand people or sixteen thousand people died nearby. It will not come to us. We will see just by our eyes. So, 
you stay there and help the people who are dying in your city then after he was very much happy and now he is helping others and is saving thousands of people who were affected by the virus along with his co-doctors dear brothers and sisters god will save us god will keep us with, with good health god will give us good strength but we have to execute his commandment jesus first others next you are self lost then only we will get the joy my brothers and sisters in christ now what i request you are you executing the commandment of our lord are you helping others are you doing missionary work it's not for changing of religion it's commandment of god to reveal the love of god to the mankind i ask you will you decide to keep the commandment and execute it promote the commandment in your lives today and beds i request you you do that lord jesus will bless you your family your children your wife your husband your parents your neighbors and your friends ji once again i remind you the commandment of our lord jesus christ you shall love your neighbor as you yourself may god bless you all and may god guide you and help you to promote the commandment of our lord jesus christ let's have word of prayer our gracious and heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful time to remember you lord we thank you for this wonderful day that you have added in our lifetime lord especially we thank you for this good health and wealth that you have given to us especially i thank you for this wonderful joy heavenly joy that you have given to us lord lord i pray to help the people who are suffering by disease especially this serious and dangerous virus lord lord heal them heal them in the name of lord jesus christ lord and give them strength and help them family to recover from the diseases if they have lord help the people those who are listening this message and inspire them in their hearts to promote and execute your kind commandment to love others and help others motivate them to do the commandment of you i commit all these people those who are hearing this message in your arm and put your hand lord bless them guide them and protect them i ask all these things in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ our lord dear brothers and sisters in christ if you want to contact me or if you need any prayer help kindly contact me at any time through my telephone and email my telephone number is 9962080 One four. Another number nine eight 
டபுள் ஒன் செவன் நைன் ஃபோர் ஜீரோ ஜீரோ ஃபோர் மை இமெயில் ஐடி இஸ் ரவ் ஜயா சிங் அட் யாஹூ டாட் காம் ஆர்இவி ஜேஏ ஒய்ஏ எஸ்ஐஎன்ஜிஹ் அட் யாஹூ டாட் காம் மே காட் பிளஸ் யூ ஆல்